on this episode of La Peef, let's talk. I think ahead, that on one hand, okay, go ahead. Yeah. Do you, do you see what I'm saying though, Crimson? I understand like what you're trying to say, but okay. you're missing okay. my point. Okay, perfect. So and I would love so to hear so you the clarify. Deal here is that the reason I'm bringing this example up is this. She goes and does something that she has been culturally and socially trained to do, which is to mm -hmm. be the breadwinner. But her nature is that she wants a man's what? Provision. She wants a man's provision, even though she went and did the same thing a man would do to get that provision. She still want him to do it because there's something different about her doing it and him doing it. She still feels that traditional draw because it is her nature. Can I ask you a question before I forget it? Yes, ma'am. So with what you were just saying, if a woman is naturally this and naturally that, shouldn't, um, in terms of child support, wouldn't they be, um, how can you say women should be doing this and women should be doing that if you're saying that women are naturally this completely other way submissive and just, you know, falling in line with the man and all this. And if they've been doing that and having their life finance, why would you say that they don't deserve child support or whatever? Um, like, I don't understand how those two beliefs can be at the same time. Well, number one, well, the first, the first issue is that that's going way back to the beginning of the, of the show conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then number two, I never said women should never get child support. Not what I said. I said children belong to men. That's what I said. And what I'm talking about when I'm talking about submission and things of that nature, I'm speaking of it in terms of female nature, not even necessarily what she consciously does, but what she does subconsciously. And we're going back to the example that I just gave about being with a man in a relationship that she is completely obstinate with and then going to work and not being obstinate at work. <laughs> so that was sweet, wasn't it? Was Everybody sweet. was happy. <laughs> <laughs> um, and not being <laughs> at work. See, what we have to understand is that in today's society, especially after feminism and living in a gynocracy like we do, um, there is a difference between how women display their nature and what their cultural teaching is, what they learn culturally. Culturally, can you, can you learn you explain feminism. the differences? Culturally, we learn feminism. Our nature is actually something a little different than that. And I would go into it further, but it would take us completely off of the topic. And I don't want to go completely off of the topic because that, that would really take us because I don't speak on the surface. I go deeper. So that would really take us off. So I don't necessarily want to go down that path right now until at least everybody's had their say on this topic. But <laughs> um. But we have our cultural teaching about what women are supposed to want and what women are supposed to need and all of this type of stuff. And then women have their natural need, the natural stuff that we want. Because, OK, let me give you an example. We go, a lot of women go to school, go to education, get a six figure career. Right. We, we go and do that and we think that's successful. Right. That's cool. Right. And we do that. And then we'll turn around and want a man to take care of us. Why do we do that? Wait, but this is what I was just talking about. How can you say, oh, a woman is making a bunch of money and now like, how are you expecting a man to take care of you? But then when a woman doesn't make money, you also can't expect the man <laughs> to pay child support and take care of you. I just, I mean, it seems you're very. Conflating, you're conflating again. Yeah. What I'm asking, what I'm asking is something very. I'm sorry. Did I over? No, 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 no. You're fine. I'm sorry. Uh, what I'm the the example that I'm asking. What I'm asking is, a woman 
woman A mm -hmm. goes to school for the purpose mm -hmm. of getting an education, getting a degree in order to get a career mm -hmm. so that she can be financially what? Independent because she doesn't want to be dependent on who? A man. Because she doesn't want that man doing what? Trying to control her. Or she just wants to be a doctor or yeah. wants to be a nurse yeah. or and wants to be a teacher. Or... She just wants to do it. Let's say she just wants to do it. And mm -hmm. she makes enough money to take care of herself because this is what society told her she's supposed to be doing. But this then if they don't make enough before, money. Before, but hold on. This is what society told her makes her valuable. Because if you ask any woman what she brings to the table, she started naming her job and her career and her money and degree because she thinks that makes her value. Okay, fine. So then why is it she went to school, she did all of this stuff to become the breadwinner, but when it's time to be the breadwinner, she don't want to be the breadwinner. She want, a, she want her man to be the breadwinner and he pay for her. Why does she do that? I, I just still, I'm not understanding because we earlier i think you just called the woman a bum for she, making a certain low amount of money but now when a woman makes a bunch of money that's a problem too like I'm okay so for problem. you for you what do you think is a good amount of money for a woman to make see you're talking about money and i'm not we just talked about you just talked about you don't understand going to school question. to make money Right. Can I add a can I add can I can I try and balance this out? Okay, what she's specifically talking about is the woman's nature and she's differentiating between needs and wants and she's illustrating the point. And I think you're getting stuck on what she's using to illustrate that point as opposed to what she's actually saying to illustrate the point. Hopefully that makes sense. No, I mean I just think that I think that on one hand. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Do you, do you see what I'm saying, though, Crimson? I understand like what you're trying to say, but okay. you're missing okay. my point. Okay, perfect. And, so and I would love so for you to clarify. The deal it. here is that the reason I'm bringing this example up is this she goes and does something that she has been culturally and socially trained to do, which is to mm -hmm. be the breadwinner. But her nature, is that she wants a man's what? Provi she wants a man's provision. Even though she went and did the same thing a man would do to get that provision, she still want him to do it because there's something different about her doing it and him doing it. She still feels that traditional draw because it is her nature. 